Storyblock not only supports multiple languages, but it also integrates with various tools to manage translations. There are different ways you can manage content for multiple languages and different countries inside Storyblock. You can either use a field level translation, folder level translation, space level translation, or use field and folder combined. Each one of these options are explained in depth in our documentation. For now, let's take a look at the field level translation. As the name suggests, with this option, you can store multi-language content on the field level. That basically means that you only need a single content tree and don't have to create standalone folders for each country or language. As long as your content is pretty similar across languages, this is probably the best option for you. With field level translation, you have fewer content entries to manage and the system will take care of serving the correct language automatically. So let's take a look at the field level translation in action. The first thing that you have to do after entering your story block space is to go to settings and find the internationalization tab under configuration. Now add all the languages that you want your content translated into. Let's add German and French. And remember to save these settings. We basically have to define which content fields we want to be translatable. You can do that by either going through the block library or from the visual editor. We'll go with the visual editor option. So go to content and open the homepage. First thing, you can see a new drop down menu at the top of the page. That's your language option. Default here is simply English, and you can see German and French also added there. But before changing the language, first we have to set some fields to translatable and actually translate the content. Let's try that with the hero block at the top. If you hover over each field, you can see the settings icon pop up. In here, you can see that the translatable option is already checked for this field. Let's do that for the subheadline and the button text field too. Remember, if you check the translatable tag in one of the fields of a block, it will apply to all instances of that block across your website. Now, if I change the language to German, I can go and change the headline and the subheadline of the hero component. You can see now there's a new translate slider for those fields. Same thing for the button labels. Now let's save the page. Now, if I change my language back to default, you can see the English version of my content. And as soon as I turn it back to German, you will see the German version again. Of course, you can publish each localized version independently from each other, and you can customize each one however you wish. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are other ways with which you can internationalize your content with Storyblock. The field level option that we just saw is only one of them.